One of the most important components to a solar system besides the solar panel itself is the inverter. There are actually a lot of inverter manufacturers out there, but only two have really done a good job at becoming household names, and that's Solar Edge and Enphase Energy. And you would think that they use similar technology, but it's the contrary. They are polar opposites. And we have, for the most part, done a good job of being relatively neutral for our customers because, frankly, they are both really good products. But it's hard to stay neutral when one is clearly leading the way for the future, especially here in the United States where one of these two leaders is actually based. But before I enlighten you with knowledge and my professional opinion on which is better, please take a second to subscribe to the channel. It really takes a second. Just click the little red button. And I really appreciate it when you do that. We are looking to expand the channel and include reviews outside of just solar and general energy efficient home improvements. So if you have any ideas, be sure to leave them in the comments because I do check those out from time to time and it'll help us understand what you want more from the channel. And for those of you watching, because you're in the research phase of solar, visit us online to receive a hassle-free quote. We service a huge area here in Southern California, and we would greatly appreciate the opportunity to win your business. My goal for this video isn't so much to bash one of these two manufacturers, but to actually help you better understand why we lean more towards one over the other. And at the time of this video, over 90% or so of our solar installations, be it solar or battery backup, are actually using Enphase products. The remaining 10% is made up of specialty projects using either like Solar Edge or SMA America. And this number is shrinking more and more each quarter as fewer and fewer customers are actually interested in other products besides Enphase microinverters. To better understand the significance of Solar Edge or Enphase, you have to first know what the National Electrical Codes and California Electrical Codes are for installing solar and what has allowed these two manufacturers to basically dominate an entire industry. Understand that 10 plus years ago, there was not a whole lot of regulation or oversight for solar. You could basically do whatever the heck you want. It was a lot like the Wild West. I mean, people were just going crazy. Everybody and their mother was getting into the solar industry. And many of them didn't all have good intentions. They were just here to make a quick buck. It's hard for some of us to imagine a life without modern day computers, the internet, or our iPhones, but solar was exactly like that. System monitoring, pff, what system monitoring? You go look at the screen on the inverter and if it's blacked out, well, you know, is the light green kind of stuff? You know, you don't get to just look at your phone, you know, there was no module level monitoring back then. There was really no safety features either. It was pretty wild. But a lot of this has changed because the electrical code started to crack down on poor practices in the solar industry. And that started around 2014, just eight years ago. It wasn't that long. These precursors of changes didn't really make an impact to the industry here in California until around 2017 because they wanted to give manufacturers time to implement the changes. Now you're probably wondering what the heck are these changes? Well, the most notable one was NEC 690.12, rapid shutdown. This code basically says solar systems installed on buildings are required to reduce the system's voltage to less than 30 volts DC within 30 seconds for first responders. Well, that was a jab to the throat for every solar inverter manufacturer at the time because no one was even thinking about reducing the DC voltage of the system because of an emergency. That just, you know, who does that? And for those of you that don't know, most solar panels produce around 600 volts DC each. Some usually commercial panels can actually do as much as a thousand volts. At the time of these changes, the major inverter manufacturers 
just balked at the new requirements and started pulling out of states that implemented these requirements. California being one of the first. But hey, who cares about California? I mean, you got the rest of the world to do business with, right? Well, more and more states, you know, started to adopt these changes. Now, and this is when SolarEdge and Enphase started to really be offered by solar companies like ourselves because they were the only products that met the new rapid shutdown requirements. Remember, SolarEdge uses a string inverter, which we're all familiar with, but had developed a special solar panel optimizer, which allowed the system to shut down safely within a matter of seconds. As an added perk, homeowners could actually get module level monitoring, something you didn't have before. And you also allowed the each individual panels to act independently of each other, which you couldn't do with a traditional string inverter. This was freaking mind blowing eight years ago. I mean, I kid you not, it was like, oh my goodness, it was like the iPhone in the solar industry. Not to say it didn't have its quirks or issues because the first generation optimizers and solar edge inverters they kind of had a pretty high failure rate. I mean, most new products like this do, but hey, it didn't slow down the adoption rate. SolarEdge wasn't the only one with the capabilities needed to meet the new electrical code requirements for rapid shutdown. Enphase had been hard at work developing a microinverter. This technology was the first of its kind. It was basically SolarEdge's optimizer and the inverter crammed into one little compact unit that you attach to each panel up on the roof. The big difference between SolarEdge and Enphase isn't so much the technology, but it's when the solar panel's DC energy gets converted into AC energy. See, SolarEdge's optimizer is a DC optimizer, so it's not really doing anything besides communicating with the inverter and regulating the solar panel's DC voltage. So you technically still have high voltage running across your entire roof, 400, 500 volts or more. By contrast, Enphase's microinverter actually converts that DC energy of the solar panel at the solar panel to AC. So the power coming down your roof to your main service panel is alternating current, which we're all very used to. It exists in all the walls of our home. That's what powers everything in our home for that matter. AC current is a fixed 120 volts or 240 volts. And if the power is shut off via a disconnect, your light switch or a breaker, regardless of sunlight, there is no energy flowing through the lines anymore. The DC power of the solar panel literally stops at the panel and it's almost instant for that matter, which is basically what an optimizer was doing for solar edge. Now in the early days of solar edge and Enphase, they were both pretty expensive, but Solar Edge was usually 10 to 20% cheaper than Enphase, which made it hard for Enphase to get adoption back in the day. Regardless, Enphase pressed on, further developing their microinverter technology, while their competitor kind of got complacent. I mean, who wouldn't? No one was challenging them besides Enphase, and you know, they were more expensive. So, you know, if they lose a couple jobs here and there, not a big deal. It didn't take Enphase very long though to develop a superior product to SolarEdge in my opinion, or to get the cost down and more in line with what customers are expecting from a SolarEdge system price point. And this occurred around the time of the IQ series. This was the future for Enphase, the IQ microinverter. It stood for intelligent. It was the most advanced microinverter. It used completely new communication protocols and had a robust microprocessor built into the microinverter. Something no one else had ever done. It was crazy. And at the same time, they figured out how to manufacture it cheaper. So there you go. But there was an issue. Enphase wasn't prepared for the demand they'd receive for their new sixth generation microinverter, the first of the IQ line. So companies like ourselves, we kind of had to bounce back and forth between SolarEdge and Enphase for a little while, depending on who was in stock for better maybe of a year. Most homeowners didn't mind because they were both pretty much the same fundamentally at that time with little to no cost difference. 
the IQ6 did not last long for Enphase. They already had their seventh generation in development close to release, and Enphase improved upon the new IQ technology even further, offering more power per micromber, which is really important to note. This is what really helped Enphase take market share from SolarEdge and become the number one sold inverter nationwide. And they're working on becoming number one worldwide. Let me clarify. The only disadvantage early Enphase microinverters had was clipping. And we're talking about the M series and the really early C series. Now I've done an extensive video on solar clipping and it's not a bad thing to get some clipping. In fact, it's actually good for your solar system to clip a little bit. I strongly recommend you check out the video I did on this to better understand the benefits of clipping. I'm gonna leave a description, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below. But those early generation microinverters from Enphase just couldn't keep up with the advancements solar panel manufacturers were making at the time. Solar companies were having to install M215 microinverters or M250 microinverters on 280 watt or 330 watt solar panels. Those were considered high wattage solar panels at the time. And homeowners were seeing somewhat significant clipping during their peak season. This was something of a concern and wasn't as big of an issue with SolarEdge, though you still get clipping, it just wasn't usually as noticeable. But kind of take that as a grain of salt because even today, it really depends on your solar company's design. Because no matter what, an undersized inverter to a large group of solar panels will almost always have clipping and will likely have more clipping than microinverters, especially compared to the latest eighth generation from Enphase. Regardless, the once complacent SolarEdge had to all of a sudden scramble and update their product line and start doing something. And it honestly feels like they weren't prepared for Enphase to keep innovating or working towards innovation. I honestly don't think anybody really was. We pretty much went all in with Enphase around the release of the IQ microinverter because Enphase had finally provided homeowners and installers a product we could all trust. For many of you watching this video, you probably have received a quote with SolarEdge and another one with Enphase. And you're trying to figure out which is the better product. It's, it's kind of hard. In my professional opinion, Enphase is the better choice. And here are my nitpicky reasons in no particular order of why I prefer Enphase over SolarEdge. Over eight generations of inverter advancements continued innovations with microinverter technology and battery technology. First, to develop an off-grid microinverter. Better monitoring platform, really user-friendly app and web-based. Includes consumption monitoring, built-in Wi-Fi connection, that's standard. Backup, ethernet connection, standard. Easy to add on cellular kit. Warranty is transferable. So when you sell the house, transfer the warranty. Better customer and installer support, something easily overlooked. Average hold time, less than 15 minutes for Enphase. Freaking friendly as heck support staff. Then they can actually help homeowners find certified partners if their original installer went out of business. Faster manufacturing warranty claim process. The average claim time for Enphase in our experience is less than seven business days. This is regardless if it's a battery or a microinverter warranty. Solar system expandability. It's a future proof technology. Add more solar panels, add more batteries. You can do either or. It's backwards compatible. They think about their customers that have gone solar with them in the early days. They even created an upgrade program for their legacy customers. No one has ever done that. Compatibility with other AC coupled battery solutions. You want a Tesla Powerwall? Cool, get one. You want a zone in battery? Cool, get one. It'll work with their microinverters. Though 
they have their own battery backup technology that I kind of recommend you getting over those because you get a heck of a lot more features when you do it because it really is one of the industry's most advanced backup solutions. Their systems are compatible with standby generators, so you can have solar, battery, and generator backup. There's really no single point of failure that'll just kill the whole system. In fact, there are fewer points of failures with an Enphase system. They offer a standard 25-year warranty on their microinverters, and they're the only manufacturer to offer an extended 15-year warranty on their batteries. They have the lowest failure rate in our experience in the industry. And they're super transparent with their customers, the installers they work with, and their investors. They want people to know what they're working on, what the future of their products is going to be. I could go on and on about why we feel Enphase is better compared to SolarEdge without getting overly techy. This might change, but for now, if you're considering solar, it's a no-brainer to buy Enphase microinverters. That's what you should get for your solar system. So for any of you interested in going solar that live in our area of Southern California, please visit us online. Request a hassle-free quote. We want you as a customer. We want you to have a great solar experience. We don't want you to have one of those experiences that you hear about. And we really want you to have a kick-ass premium solar system that works the way you want it to, and that you don't have issues over 25 plus years. Because that's all we've been trying to do for the last 15 years, is provide the best service we can with the best products we can source. Well, that's it for this week's video. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Maybe give this video a thumbs up too. Either way, I'll see you in the next one.